Hello, my name is Ryan. Here's from my first voice leak. Luke chapter 5, verse 13. It says, Jesus reached out his hand and touched a man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Amen. Hello, my name is Rodney. Here's the memory verse for this week. Luke chapter 5, verse 13. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean, and immediately the leprosy left him. Amen. My Bible, my Bible, and I. My Bible, my Bible, and I. Oh, what's a wonderful Bible that God gave me the mission. We are traveling the Bible. My Bible and I, my Bible, my Bible and I, my Bible, my Bible and I. Oh, what a wonderful Bible that God gave me the place. We are, yeah. Is it we are traveling? Or we are. Uh, I don't know, but. Uh, it's my Bible and I, and God gave it to me without measure. Uh, welcome to today's class. My name is Teacher Brian, and I am so excited to see all of you tuning in and watching us from wherever you are. Uh, before we go so far, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you. We thank you for this chance that you have given to us to be in your presence and to read your word uh, to be in this class. We pray that Lord, you lead us. And you guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your wisdom upon our viewers and everyone who is tuned in. Bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. My name is Teacher Brian. And always I'm excited to be in today's class. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification button so that you can always be notified whenever we are uh, airing our super Sunday school class. Well, it's a beautiful morning that the Lord has made, and today we just want to read about the written word of God. Hmm, what is the written word of, of God? What comes in your mind when you hear the written word of God? Well, that is the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. So the Bible is the written word of God. Uh, the Bible says now uh, we are going to read a scripture segment then we get to analyze and get some of the lessons uh, for today the bible says in the book of john chapter one i know we have memorized this as a memory verse before it says in the beginning was the word uh oh yeah in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was God, he was with God in the beginning. All things were made through him. Nothing that has been made was made without him. Life was in him, and that life was the light for the people. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. A man came who was sent from God. His name was John. He came to give witness about that light. He gave witness so that all people could believe. Uh, the Bible says, the word, verse 10, the word was in the world that was made through him, but the world did not recognize him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. Some people did not accept him, uh, they believed in his name. Uh, some people did accept him, they believed in his name. He gave them the right to become children of God. To be a child of God has nothing to do with human parents. Ch children of God are not born because of human choices. Or because of uh, a husband wants them to be born. They are born because of what God does. The world became a human being. He made his home with us. We have seen his glory. It is the glory of the one and only son. He came from the father and he was full of grace and truth. Wow. That is the word of God. Now, uh, the Bible is the written word of God. This is the word of God. And the Bible says that in the beginning was the word so it means that this word existed very 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 many uh, years ago so so much time back and uh, it says that even in the beginning of uh, the word was already there that it was formed in that beginning it was already existing 
The one was with God and the one was God. So God is the word. And the word is is uh, the word is is his is his word like we speak and as we speak we utter words. So we honor those words. And God is his word. And uh, part of his word, how do we get to know his word? It's through uh, written. It is written. And uh, the Bible is just a book that carries the word of God in it. Okay? So, uh, it is important for us to obey the word of God. It is important for us to follow and to use the word of God. How many of us have probably um, maybe received a gift or uh, yeah maybe your parents bought you something uh, probably an electronic uh, maybe uh, some headphones some gaming materials or anything something just electronic right? uh, maybe a, a game a game a, a game machine or something like that we all know that everything that we that has been bought comes with a money how to use it and even as we live our lives as Christians, uh, we need to know that we need the word of God as our manual to live our Christian lives. So here, as we have read, we have seen that the word of God has life. And that life is the light, that, the, the light of people. So every time that we read the word of God, we receive life in us. And uh, as we receive that light, there is light. We, we are able to see. Have you seen people who live um, uh, really bad lives? It's because they are in darkness. And in darkness, there is no life. There is death. So, at all times, let's acknowledge that the Word of God gives us life, and it is the light. The light to our path, to our lives. And uh, the Bible says, that the word was in the world that was made through him. Do you know that through this word, God said, let there be. So let, let us understand, even as we, uh, as we live our lives, that the word of God is very, very, very powerful. Imagine God would just say, let there be, uh, let there be the birds, let there be uh, light, let there be dark, uh, I mean, let, let, let there be stars in the the heavenly bodies, let there be, let there be, let there be, and everything that the Lord said, it all came to pass. At all times, let us know that God means his word, and his word is very, very, very powerful. So anytime that you come, maybe you're down, maybe you're stressed, maybe you have issues in your heart, and uh, you need them dealt with, there is something that has power to deal with it, and that is the word of God. It comes in seasons, at times you want the word of God to give you peace. You read it and there is a word for peace. If you want the word of God to, uh, to give you joy, there is a word for it. Remember where the Bible says rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. So at all times you keep rejoicing. You know, uh, anytime you feel... Uh, you are down anytime you feel like um, you need uh, you need guidance the word of god is always there to give guidance to give a uh, joy and also to rebuke sometimes we do so many things that are that that are not right but when you read the word of god it rebukes you it tells you that is wrong this is right giving directions it also tells us on some of the things that we need uh, or, or some of uh, some of the ways that we need to to live in our our lives. Example, when we we should flee to lust from lust. You know, lust is that desire that is, you know, it is it is like it is in us. You want something, but you want it like it is no longer beneficial. You just want it so bad, so so bad, and it's not a good thing. It's a sin. So that becomes lust. If it, it, if it brings uh, harm to you or to anyone else, or if it is not the will of God, then that is last. Anything that controls you, that makes you, uh, that, 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 is then, that is what we call last.
that's this uncontrollable desire over something. So the word of God gives you uh, the direction. God can tell you, don't do this, don't do that. And at times I, I, I know we can relate to this. Uh, there are times that you find yourself, uh, you're about to, to mess or to do something bad, but your mom or your dad comes and tells you, no, don't do that, that is very wrong. At times, uh, uh, we, we want to make mistakes, but they come in. At times, we want to do something greater. They encourage us. That is how the Word of God acts. At, we are uh, in, the, in those older days, those old ages in the Bible, in the Old Testament, we see that God would speak to pe people. He would speak to the priests and those in charge, and they would hear a voice. But today, he, although he, he still speaks and you can still hear his voice, uh, there is his written word. And this word is still powerful. So how much time do you spend re reading your word? Did you read your word in the morning? Uh, did you read, the, I mean, the Bible in the morning? Ah, uh, okay. Did you read the Bible in the afternoon? Yesterday? Did you read the Bible uh, at night? How often do you read the word of God? How often do you need God's direction in your life? So as kids, even as we walk with God, we need to know what does God want and desire from us. Which direction does God want us to go in? Otherwise, we could be living and we don't have a direction. The word of God, this written word of God, the Bible, gives direction. At times we ask ourselves, what will Jesus do? And the Bible is his word can really tell you what Jesus would have done. Every scenario in life, Every scenario in life has uh, a direction from the Bible. You know, whether it's in fights, you, you're asking if you should fight. The Bible says uh, when they slap you on the right cheek, you give them right, the left cheek, they also slap. I know we don't respond that way, but it, it basically tells us that we should not be the ones fighting back with our hands because God is our is our mighty man of war. We do not fight. Our fight is not in flesh and blood, but rather it is, you know, it is God who fights for us. It is a spiritual battle, you know. So uh, let us not neglect the place of reading the word of God at all times. Let us read the word of God. Whether in the morning have a time for reading the word of God, you can read it in the morning, you can decide to read it in the afternoon or after school when, when you come from school or before you go to school. Any time is a good time as long as you are concentrating. At times you read the word and it is hard, you're not understanding. In fact, you can get to places where, you, I mean, you're not getting anything, but the Lord provides his spirit to guide us all through. Um, yeah, so you can re be reading a, a, a chapter a day. Let's say you want to start, you can start by reading the book of maybe John, uh, the John that we have just read right now. You read John chapter 1 today, tomorrow you continue to read John chapter 2, John chapter 3, John chapter 4, John chapter 5, and with time you find yourself you have finished. Okay? Uh, and as you go all, uh, anywhere, let's say you're camping, well, let's say you are going for a school trip. Let's let's say you are going to church. Always carry your word, uh, the word of God with you. It could be written in your heart, but it's also good to carry the written one. This one, uh, the mind, the Bible. The Bible carries the word of God, and that is the best book that you can ever read. So I encourage each and every one of us to always read the word of God, and not just reading, obeying it. What does the word say? At times we want to, we want it to favor us, but it is not really. At times it doesn't. It, although God wishes and wants the best for us, but let us not forget that the word of God is there to help us, uh, whether it you feel like it is favoring you or not. Yeah. So I want to give you the memory of us, the memory of us of this week. The memory verse of this week comes from the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. 
the Bible says, if we faithfully obey everything that God has commanded us, he will be pleased with us. If we faithfully obey what God, uh, I mean, if we faithfully obey everything that God has commanded us, he will be pleased with us. So make sure you read and understand the coda video and as usual send it to, our, to, the, to us through the number on the screen and we will showcase it in our next lesson. But uh, thank you so much. I hope you have learned something that we need the word of God because it is the light. It corrects us. It, uh, it leads us. It guides us. Uh, it rebukes us. It is the light. And uh, it is God himself. He is his word. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, allow me to stop at that. I hope we meet next time. Before I go, let me say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you. Thank you for the chance that you have given us to learn and to get your word, Almighty Father. We pray that, Lord, you help us to live in accordance to your word and you guide us through it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for each and every one of us. I pray for your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the honor and glory in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, thank you so much for me to you. I just want to say bye-bye.